Howdy all you dooders. Dude RV here. Hey, uh, today I am at Lake Arrowhead State Park. Howdy all you dooders, dude RV here. Hey, uh, today I am at Lake Arrowhead State Park. This is just southwest or southeast, just southeast of Wichita Falls, situated on Lake Arrowhead. Go figure. All right, I've got the scooter, I got the GoPro, I got the fancy helmet, and I got you. So we're gonna jump on Little Red and we're gonna go take a tour through Lake Arrowhead State Park. Let's go. Music. I'm still having power management issues with Little Red, so we're not gonna be going full blast like I like to do. We're gonna be tooling along at a good jogging pace. As they say, slow and steady wins the race. What's crazy is that when I jumped on the scooter, as soon as we got here, it was running perfect. And then it hit a few bumps, and perfect went away. <laughs> so, anyway, we are here for one night at Lake Arrowhead State Park, making our way back home from our trip up to Colorado. Now, this road to our left, it goes down to the head of the Onion Creek Trail, and that road goes down to the equestrian area. Um, it's a nice little equestrian area, but because I can't run full speed, it would take more time to go down there and back than warrants. You would get bored. But I do have a clip I shot that will be in the experiential video. So just click on the subscribe and open up the playlist. You find a playlist for uh, Colorado Springs 2019. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Anyway, it'll be in there somewhere. This road's pretty, pretty rough. The park's got a real simple layout. Camping loops are here on the left, and then the day use is here on the right. The first place we're gonna go is down to the boat ramp and the day use area is there. The second area will be where the fishing pier is, the boat dock and then we'll finish up with the camping loops. So if you're just interested in seeing the camping loops, you might want to fast forward. And I will accelerate the timeline on the slower, dull areas of moving from one area of the park to the other. Kind of like this. Ah, the beauty of modern technology. To be able to accelerate forward like that with a little bit of music it makes it not so bad not being able to go full speed. Anyway, this is the day use area. If you're into fishing and picnicking all at the same time, they've got barbecue grills for cooking up your catch. And here at the very end, there is a playground. So when the kids get tired of watching the bobbers float, they can come down here and swing and slide. And there's a big old Canadian goose. All right, now we're gonna scoot on over to the boat ramp. 
and there's a there's a lot of boat ramp at this park. There seems to be a lot of boaters at this park. I know a lot of y'all like to like me to get down there and zoom right in on the boat ramp, but I don't want to interfere with boater traffic. So there it is. It looks like there's eight lanes of boat ramp. Well, there you are. There's your boat ramp. Now, I noticed earlier when I was scooting around that uh, there, there's a lot of people cleaning fish. So apparently there's some fish biting. All right, we're gonna scoot on around to the other day use area. Check out these tunes. I found them free on YouTube. Pretty cool tunes. I don't even know what they are yet, but I know they're going to be cool. Now this is where you want to go if you're going to go swimming. This is the place to do it. There is no lifeguard on duty, so wear a life jacket. I will say that I'm going to say this: Tex Dot needs to get down here and fix some roads. These are very rough roads. It may be a, a blessing in disguise that I can't go very fast because a lot of these bumps are sneaking up on me. There's another playground on this side of the bay. Cove, whatever it's called. Over here we have the fishing pier or the fishing dock slash marina and we have a fishing pier I went out on that fishing pier and it's really rough too and that was when I lost my high speed Now there is somewhere down here a prairie dog town. But I don't think it'd be down there. I believe this would be the prairie dog town right here. Doesn't look like one though. Looks like maybe the prairie dogs all left. These are all primitive campsites tent camping and whatnot. That goes right back down to where we just came from. There's 
water only site. Be a good place for Leon to visit. Right over here on the edge of the lake. Man, that one right there would be perfect for Leon. Number 59. Looks like I might have a conversation with a park ranger about the Americans with Disability Act. We shall see. He's looking. He's trying to decide. Do I say something? We have more primitive campsites over here. No, those are water only sites. I'm sorry, they're not primitive. So that's where all the camping loops are, so we're gonna we're gonna come back to that one. We're going to run up here and then work our way back down to the last one because that is where we will find Miss V patiently waiting with her air conditioner running. And Lord knows I'm going to need some air conditioner after this slow run. So we're going to accelerate the timeline until we get to our next point of interest. Check out these things. pretty jamming tune whatever they were all right so all of the water and electric sites here are set up in the flower pattern allegro open road All the sites are pretty well the same. They're all very flat. They're all flat. They all have shade to some extent have a picnic table fairly decent privacy privacy fairly decent privacy there are some pull throughs such as this one now for whatever reason I was not able to book a pull through they were all showing occupied or reserved when I was booking this trip. Now I'm seeing that the park is practically empty. There's a shower facility. The oil pump. You can get a pretty good eyeball on this park, this campground from Google Earth. There's not a lot of trees to obstruct your view. And it is pretty much what you see is what you get.
trailer dump station, nice and spacious dump station. It's October 2nd, I don't know if I said that before, October 2nd, 2019, and as you can see, I mean, this is Saturday, October 2nd, or 3rd. It's either the 2nd or the 3rd of October 2019, and there are a whole lot of empty campsites here at Lake Arrowhead State Park. I don't know if this is a typical crowd for Lake Arrowhead State Park. But you certainly wouldn't really need to make reservations to go camping here from what I see. be a good idea to call it here. All right, so we're back out on one of the main roads here. If you go to the left, that takes you out of the park. We'll go up this way just a little bit so you can see. Climbing hills against the wind. All right, so that's our main road right there. That goes to the front gate. We got two more camping loops to visit, but we gotta travel a little bit at this slower speed to get there. So, how about checking out some more music? two loops that we have to visit on this FPV scooter tour at Lake Arrowhead State Park. much they all look the same right but now you actually know what you're looking for when you're looking at that map
here we are. Back at Ms. Lee. And as happy as can be. Those are always so much fun. Man, I sure appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. Hey, if this is your first time to visit Dude RV, click on that subscribe button down there. And remember, click on the bell as well. That way you'll never miss another production from Dude RV. For those of you who have already subscribed and have been following along, thank you so very much. I am so deeply honored that you come along with me on this, on this journey called life. Thank you so much. Hey, y'all come back now, you hear?